What's up, bros and hoes? Whatever floats your goat. It's Relentless bringing you yet another division build video. And this, I must say, is an absolutely fun build to use, especially in group play because basically they just don't know what to do, do with you. Um, they can have, you know, all the nomads they want, but this is one of three builds that, uh, whichever I choose to switch to, uh, completely shreds those non-lab nomad wearing uh, agents. Uh, you know, if that's what it takes and that's what you need, uh, I more or less rely on my crappy footwork and my potato aim, and I do just fine uh, without having to utilize and having a crutch such as Nomad. I know, let the hate comments flow in the comment section below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, ground and pound that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so that way you know each and every time a video is posted each and every day but without further ado let's hop in right into this ultimate build as you can see we are utilizing the six-piece alpha bridge uh, they're not quite optimized completely yet but they will be but exactly the way they are now uh, completely absolute shreds as you can see 493k toughness it's a, a good toughness to be at and you're putting down plenty of firepower but yet having a lot of survivability especially especially in group play i mean let's face it in group play you always have a lot more survivability but in solo this build can absolutely shred as well yes you don't get nine lives with such as wearing a nomad but you can easily just outsmart them and still literally shred and make them proc three to four times easy peasy and give them a complete dirt nap but anyways let's hop into the build we start out with the alpha bridge holster uh decent armor roll uh the max is 2003 it's 1394 in stamina and the major attributes you want health as always and also uh, i got blessed with having the 11 percent exotic damage resilience that helps out uh great when it comes to you know anybody still trying to use seeker mines sticky bombs anything exotic uh you're actually going to get uh some resilience out of this and prolong your life if they choose to use that against you and as always, in the miners, you want ammo capacity. In my mod slots, I have 267 stamina and a 265 stamina and health mods. Moving on to the mask, 1401, uh, great stat, main stat, and then my armor is 995, max is 1001. So one more optimization, I should be completely maxed out. But the major attributes, you want crit hit chance, and that's as most as you can get and for all those pesky fire turrets uh, i have 17 percent burn resistance i mean every little bit of resistance helps no matter if it's bleed disrupt or burn but burn and bleed are the uh major ones that that are, are being used and then you got sprinkled in there still you know the cheesy shock turrets and in the mod slot we have 263 stamina and 3156 health moving on to the knee pads decent armor uh, it still has almost about 100 more it can go up in its armor value, but it's got 1393 in firearms. In the major attributes, 8% crit hit damage. That's what you would want to roll in the majors. In the minors, as you can see, uh, more burn resistance and disorient resistance. And uh, I wish I had probably bleed resistance instead of, instead of the increased kill XP. But, you know, no matter what it is, at least you got two out of the major three. And in the mod slots, we have 264 stamina and health with a first aid self heal. Now moving on to the backpack, good armor roll, good firearms roll, major attribute, as always 9% crit hit damage. And in the miners, you want ammo capacity because the more ammo you have, especially when solo or you're not running with a reclaimer or anything like that, or you don't have to scrounge around for ammo and you'll be using the same archetype weapons. So therefore you'll be sharing the ammo because basically you're going to be having and using that only that primary weapon. You'll have no secondary to switch to for extra ammo, such as other builds where you can have an SMG or an AR and stuff like that. So basically you're either going to be using two SMGs or two ARs. In this case, I am utilizing the two SMGs, but we'll get to the weapons in a moment. Now going on to the mod slots, we have two first aid self heals and 264 firearms and a 31 health. 
Moving on to the gloves, we got the trifecta and the major attributes. You want crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and since I'm utilizing the SMGs, I have SMG damage. If you prefer ARs, by all means, then have AR damage instead of in place of the SMG damage that you see that I have. It has 990 armor, good armor roll. The max is 1001, as you can see on my skull, my banshee, my predator. And then slowly I'll be optimizing all these pieces as well. So uh, my toughness will reflect that just a little bit uh, more as each and every piece is optimized. Now let's move on to the holster. It's maxed out. Uh, at armor 1401 and it's firearms and stamina and since we're not really utilizing skill and your base usually with everything maxed out is around 89k skill power uh, that's with nothing specced into it so I'm not too worried about that but it's a great holster overall and the major attributes you want create hit chance and as you can see in the mod slot I have a 6% first date self heal now let's move on to the weapons and the talent I am utilizing the house. Pay no attention to what it says at 23.9k damage because as you'll see in the fire range, it is uh, about three to 4k higher than that and you'll be critting uh, with the house on the low side for about 61k, 62k and on the high side of the house, which where you're, the part of the magazine will be doing more damage, you'll be critting for about 71k. But I'm usually utilizing the talents vicious, deadly, and of course the card counter as I just explained one half of the magazine does 20% increased damage they have switch deals increased damage flips after 15 seconds or when the magazine is empty and of course responsive now if you don't like responsive and you want something uh, different then you could go with the uh, competent but you know you do get that 10% when using the skill but since you have little to no skill power and you will only be getting that twice at the most uh, because you have two skills and they all be on cooldown for at least a minute each um, so that's why I went with responsive uh, if I wanted more crit chance which says I don't need it uh, I could go with fierce uh, you could go with unforgiving if you wanted to but in this case I prefer uh, these talents that I have here so that way I'm hitting as much damage as possible right off the get and I just prefer these but in the weapons Mod slots, we have magazine size, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. In the optics, crit hit damage, optimal range, and crit chance. Small muzzle, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. And in the underbarrel, crit hit damage, and reload speed, and stability. And apparently, I have the wrong muzzle in my weapon. And I will change it right before your eyes. Woo no, it's no magic trick. I just got to scroll through and put it on there. There you go. That's better. As you can see, this one has 19 crit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 3% crit chance. I got so many things, it's hard to, to cycle through them. But let's go on to the character sheet. 56% crit hit chance, 135% crit hit damage, 56% headshot damage. None of that really matters because basically we are PvPing with this. Um, if you are PvEing with this build, uh, you very can easily do that because NPCs drop a lot faster. So therefore, you'll be cy cycling through your alts quite more frequently. Um, but instead of like the uh, exotic damage resilience, you could go with health on a kill uh, or anything along that lines. More damage to elites that you can stack on as possible. But this is basically for PvP. As you said, you have no skill haste because you're not utilizing or requiring or relying on any skill power. Your max health pool is 332k and your armor mitigation with this build is 32.67 which is uh, that value will go up to around 33.5 once everything is optimized in its armor. And if you want to uh, know what these are, that's basically it. But we're going to go up to the firing range now, so follow along with me. And we'll see you guys there. As you can see, now we are here at the firing range to show you more or less on this dummy what damage you actually actually will be outputting, and not just by going on the base stats that it actually says when you pull up your menu. As I've showed you previously, I'll show you again that the base says 27.6, and my MP5 ST, you know, it says 25, but we're Let's go with 27.6. On the low side, 
of the card counter, you'll be hitting for 26 and 61k crits. But then on the flip side of the card counter, you'll be hitting for 30k and 71k crits, as you can see there. But anyway, stay tuned for some more gameplay video coming up. And if you're new to the channel, thanks so much for tuning in. Ground and pound that like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that way you know each and every day a new live video goes up. We'll see you guys fudging later. Goodbye.